One of the most useful packages is the math package. It has a load of mathematical function functions and constants that we can use. So let's take a look at this. So we're going to import math to start with. So we need to we need to have that. And we're going to just look at a couple of constants here. So we're going to look at a uh, common constant we all use, which is pi. So if we do math dot pi, and then we can see when we run that, we can see what pi is. Um, the other one is Euler as well. So the Euler number, which is math dot. Well, in fact, what I'll do is if I, I can just do these as a as a separate print statement. So we've got them all together. Uh, math dot e, and we can run that. So those are the two big constants we use in maths. Other things we can do with maths are, are some of the some useful functions like, uh, for example, um, square root, which, which which we use all the time as well. Dot sqrt. Um, let's do 25 so that we can so we can run that. Um, we can also do power so this takes something to the, the power of something we've done this using the double star method but you can also use pow and what you can do is you is the first the first parameter is the value you want to apply the power to and then the second value is the power so in this case this is going to be five squared and we run that so that's going to be 25 sometimes you might want to make a negative number positive so you can use for that you can use uh, f abs so f a b s so it makes it absolute value so let's say we've got minus three that will now make that a positive value so you can see there we can use seal and floor to round up and down to the nearest integer so let's have a look how that works so we do math dot seal so this will round up to the nearest integer and we'll do at the same time we'll do print print uh, math math dot floor and that will round down to the nearest integer make sure you spell that correctly and then run that as you can see there 2.33 has been rounded up to three for math seal and then round it down to two for floor. It's also worth at this point just introducing you to round. So this is not this this comes you don't this is not part of the math package but so it's, so it's, so it's uh, independent of that but it's worth just introducing here. So if I just do 2.331 right so this will round now to two and if I was to do 2.667 so this will round to the nearest integer, so that's three. Okay. What we can do as well, we can, we can give it the number of decimal places. So let's say we wanted it to two decimal places. We could we could do that as well. And uh, yeah, that's round. So it might, it's worth introducing that at this stage because we were talking about seal and floor, so it's worth worth doing. Math also has a range of logarithmic functions. So let's have a look look at these. So we're going to do start with. Uh, log 10 and if we do log 10 of 100 then that should as we know returns two so I make sure I've got the math the math dot log 10 and then run that um, we can also do log to the base 2 so math dot log base 2 here so if we do log base 2 16 that you can see that that's four and if we do log with nothing there at all so that's log to the e here so we can just do 20 so those are the main log routines you also might want to use the exponential function so math dot exp Finally, we're going to look at some trigonometric functions that are available through the math package. Now, the first one I want to introduce you to is, is degrees. What this does is it converts from radians into degrees. So we need to make sure we've got the math 
dot degrees and then let's do um, radians are going to be math dot pi divided by 4 so that's well, that's going to be 45 degrees okay so you can see that's 45 degrees we can also use radians to go the other way so let's, let's have a look at that so if we do math dot radians and then we do uh, in here now we're going to have 180 oops 180 and that's now going to be pi 3.141 you can see that okay so that, that's converting between degrees and radians we also have sine cos and tan and we also have the inverse of those, so a cos, a sine, a tan. Just going to show you, um, just working with cos, but it works exactly the same way with sine. So what we can do is if we take now our math dot cosine, and they take radians, right? So we used to put, we're calculating with, with degrees at GCSE, but it takes radians. Now that's easy enough because what we can do is we can just put the, put, put use the degrees method we looked before and just put that in inside here. So it's a little bit more convoluted than we might like, but it's not, it's not too bad once you get used to doing this. So if we run that, you can see then that returns. So basically doing cosine of 45 degrees so we're missing a bracket there, I think. There we go. And then let's run, let's run it again. And there we have it. So that's cosine of 45 degrees. Um, we can obviously do the inverse as well. Inverse uh, using a cos. Um, so let's let's try that too. Let's copy that down there. So we can do a cos. And if we say do a cos of of uh, well, let's just try something straightforward. A cos one. We can run that. Okay, and then that's zero. Okay, so but we also have, of course, we have sine as I've already mentioned. We have sine. We have a sine. We have tan and a tan as well. But I'm not going to go through those just because they're so similar to to cos and a cos.